So I'm realizing the lighting isn't gonna be like quite the issue in this video. And I apologize, but it's just gonna be what it is because I'm being like super impulsive to even do this right now. So uh, in the evenings after like I've done my work and I'm on, you know, me time, which when you live in a van, there's not really a lot to do, but there kind of is. Like I find myself doing a lot of things that in a home setting I probably wouldn't do as often, like reorganizing things over and over and over, but that's a little bit of my own little chaos in my head. So the past few days I've been able to kind of just like camp out and do my own thing consecutively for a few days without like going in and out of town, going to and from a friend's house, going to a meeting or anything like that. So I've just been like this little self-sufficient, you know, desert rat. This is where I was outside. And while doing such, I started just kind of thinking about all the stuff that I have in my van. Um, I get a little impulsive when I go by my storage unit. I grab more things than I need. I grab things that I've never used before that for some reason still live in my storage. And I'm like, I'm going to need this. I'm going to definitely need this. So um, just over the past few days, it's kind of like I have enough room for what I have in theory. I mean, I'd like like make some changes to like make things easier when it comes to like my books and reading and stuff but generally I have enough space for what I need functionality is like kind of hitting me in some weird ways but that's only because I started watching videos about like how other people have their stuff laid out and there's some things that I'm not like 100% content with how mine's laid out so we'll see what I get myself into like as the time goes on but so I started looking at the things I have in my <clears throat> dishes cabinet because I knew there were some things that I'm like okay I have too many of that or whatever maybe so either way I went ahead and I pulled out everything that was in my dishes cabinet any kind of lingering dish that was up in the corner back there or you know whatever it may be and so my cabinet for my dishes isn't very huge so it's right here and there's a big item in there that's still in there that I have yet to use, but it's also been hot, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, that's like my big luxury item that takes up a lot of space that I haven't used yet. So we'll see how long or if I keep it or what goes on with that. But this is my one dish cabinet that I use. I have two other cabinets down there um, and I use them both for food. So, um, I went ahead, like I said, pulled out generally all my dishes. I do have a lot of water bottles, but those were all up front and I use them, all of them, somehow, all of the time. And this is just my coffee cup, so that's not going anywhere. That's, thanks Jess. My friend made that for me, kind of. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I just pulled everything out and decided like I'll start from the beginning and then see what I have and work my way kind of back to storing things in there um now it's just me obviously uh but you know it's like one of those things it's like who knows maybe i have a guest over or a friend over which sounds hilarious because like where are we gonna hang out like it's not like there's a ton of room in here it's not like i can have like really massive like crazy parties here we can hang out outside i guess but um so I have this in like normally I have a thing where I need more things in case more people etc cetera, etc cetera. that's been really hard like habits kind of think of and break up but I'm working on it so I have a pot for cooking boiling water essentially <laughs> I don't know if you call that cooking but um mac and cheese rice uh, those kind of fun, easy things. That's not going anywhere. I need that. Now, I do have a secondary smaller pot 
but I'm not getting rid of my backpacking pop because, yeah, no. But I do keep it in my dish thing. Convenience, I guess. It does have my stove and everything. It's all set in one thing. So, like, the fuel, the stove, a lighter, and the grippy thing. That's a handle. I, really, I forgot the word handle. Um, so, these are both staying. So I'm just going to kind of, like, move things that are staying there. Um this was actually purchased after the van because I wanted to make salsa and I usually get like lime juice and orange juice I'm realizing I only need the top piece like I don't need a specific piece for the bottom I'll make do with others so I'm going to keep that and I'll put this I guess for now on the the bed which is going to be the donate pile apparently um, actual coffee cup, coffee cup. This thing is like, it's really cool. It's a condor over the Grand Canyon. Arizona Trail. Can't get rid of that. Like, what if I'm chilling and wanting coffee? Like, that's cool. So, that's saying. <laughs> There's also a long debate about, like, how necessary that cup is, but, um... For me it's necessary uh this is my backpacking plate and so it can also fold into snap into a bowl super easy okay it's not so easy one-handed but generally easy i mean some people could probably say like i could get away with just keeping this as like my plate slash bowl for everything but, I don't know, it's, it's little, and like, with these little cracks and things, it does get kind of messy, and you tend to spill, or I tend to spill. So, I do like to keep this as a plate and a backup bowl. Um, I will keep it, because it's also my backpacking plate bowl thing, eating. Now I'm, now I'm overthinking things, because I'm like, I really don't need that, because I have like the solo set now. So I don't think I took it last time I went backpacking, but anyway, it's great. I love it. It's like made of that material where you can use like cutting board, definitely plenty of like scratches on that thing. So yeah, sing. Stay pile. Now with that being said, I automatically think of something that I know I can get rid of, which is this don't really need a cutting board because that's a good enough cutting board and I just you know one less thing to worry about one less thing to clean so that goes in the pile um I kind of was looking at my silverware when I was putting it out because I pulled everything out so I looked at it and I thought while I was doing so um like I have some plastic wear I have um, a variety of like camping, backpacking kind of utensils. Um, good old handy dandy spork. Um, those are all saying. I like my backpacking ones. The little foldable ones are not as light. Um, this one is pretty light, actually. Um, I think the girl that sold me the van left it in here, so this is actually pretty neat. Um, those are all staying. Plastic wear, whatever. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And if anything, I'll, I'll use utensils more than anything else. This rando spoon that doesn't even match my old like silverware when I used to have a house and all the normal things. I don't know where it came from. So that's gonna get donated because I don't need like a ton of oh, no, spoons, not a knife, spoon. This is something I just picked up recently. It's a cheese cutter, like slicer. There's no debating this days. the coolest forks in the world they have little baby pizza cutters on them and they're forks not going anywhere random gift i got from an employee that i 
think actually hated me, so I'm not sure why he did that. But still, the coolest gifts, the coolest forks. I love pizza. And that open bite really doesn't let me bite through it. So little pizza cutters are awesome. This is a knife I found when I <laughs> tore my left calf September of 2020. It was on the side of the road when I was hobbling and no one was offering me a ride up Stumble Road. So at least I got a knife out of the deal. I also got this knife at some point because I don't know, I want another knife. Um, and then I got like three decent knives. People used to say I had bad knives because they were from the dollar store. I don't see a problem with that. Now I have like these like big knives. Those are all staying in case I want to get crazy and like must have multiple knives. Not like crazy, but like, excited. And I want to use a lot of knives to cut things to cook. Um, reusable straw. I have others, but I don't get rid of them. I love having them. And I just realized like there's an unintentional like little bitty orange thing going on which I am not an orange person, so that's weird. Uh, measuring spoons, not bad to have. This I bought not too long ago either, and it's a pineapple pour. Can't get rid of that, can't. Have I used it? No, no, I have not used it. But I have intentions on using, like I intend to use it. I intend to buy pineapple and I intend to cut it open with that, so sting. Um, can opener, gotta have it. And also, wide opener, gotta have it. Like, don't have to, just it's nice to have. Because recently I tried to open wine in a hotel and all I had was like my multi-tool. And yeah, I ended up putting the cork into the wine instead of out of the bottle. So, gonna keep that little handy dandy thing around these are my shot glasses I'm realizing like over the past like year of moving and bouncing around from like everything from a Toyota Tacoma to a Nissan Altima to a Subaru Legacy to now the E250 these have been like crunched to death so these are all probably broken sadly but it's okay you can drink shots out of the bottle I guess like who needs a shot glass formal shot glass so that's just going to go in the donate slash trash pile. I'll deal with it later. This is my, one of my backpacking things. Um, it's more like a bowl than a cup, in my opinion. I like to use it for dehydrated refried beans when I don't take a stove. So that's not going anywhere. And it also smushes down. So that's good. Uh, this is like... A camp cup that's been around for like 10 years so kind of just like a weird thing I don't know how long it's gonna linger around but for now it's still gonna it's gonna be around the next thing is this came with a van I don't mind eggs I cook them occasionally actually okay I lie I haven't cooked eggs in over a year probably at minimum if not longer I'm not a breakfast person. Take me out to breakfast? Yes, I'll eat breakfast. I will order, most likely, a side of bacon and two biscuits and gravy, and it will be delicious, and I will be content, and I will be happy. I actually rarely eat eggs. Actually, yeah, I rarely eat eggs, period. So, this came with a van. Don't eat it. I'm not going to really preserve eggs at all. So, yeah, don't eat. Um... This is the best thing ever that I picked up for backpacking. I now carry butter, like real butter. I just shove that stuff right in there. And then while hiking, I use the back end of my spork to dig it out. And then that's kind of like my butter knife too. So it's delicious. Butter goes on. Tortilla is really great. And then you can add it to anything. I mean, mashed potatoes, ramen, um, really all I eat out there. So, oh, I guess you could add it to a bean and cheese burrito, but I feel like 
that's a lot of fats but then again it's fine because you're hiking so whatever um this is with my dishes this is my scale it's supposed to be for food i use it mostly for backpacking gear it's a habit have to have it um and then we move on to like my weird little like collection oh tupperware I already know that I don't need this much. Um, a, as my friends all know, I'm not going to really like cook, cook. I'm, I'll, I'll cook things and I'll eat things, but I'm not going to cook like a meal for 10 people. I'm not going to cook probably even a meal for two people um, or enough food that I'm going to need a plethora of containers. So I can just tell you like at a glance, I already know this, this like big one here that is going don't need don't need i mean gosh i would have to cook so much food to fit in that um these little square guys those are from like huh, my last like more formal job i like a commercial real estate firm i had like a little lunch box my little containers those are them i don't want them i don't need them um they don't pack super easily into like the cabinet or anything even though like they do stack into each other they really don't like stack that fleshly where you're saving space when you stack them so these guys are going um and so what i have left is actually a set that i picked up after i bought the van um, because in my head, I forgot that I actually had all those little guys in here. That's, that's just my own little problem. So these are all the same brand. They are all from one set. They all have, you know, their little lids. Um, I haven't owned them long enough to lose lid or lose box. So for the most part, they're all, you know, they're all good and they can kind of like, you know, condense a little better than these other guys. So I've got that going on. I do have one of those in my fridge right now. It's got cheese because that's one of the few things I need to live off of. So I've got those. Like that. This one goes with one of those. And yeah, like that little tiny sack is way easier to manage than the big sack that I have. So those are good. Um, I have another little container. I don't know where the lid is. Hopefully I find it. It might be in my backpack, which is, I almost said upstairs. I'll call it upstairs. It's upstairs. Um, so if I have it, it'll be fine. If I don't, I'll throw it away. We'll see. Um, moving on. It gets to a weird stop. But now, because I'm actually not a big one-time use paper towel plus like paper plates, plastic wear, like throw away one time use plastic wear person. Um, I'm just kind of a hippie nerd like that. President of Save the Earth Club back in fourth grade. Thank you very much. But the van did come with a paper towel roll, which it's been t over two months and that's still like maybe halfway through so it's here i use it occasionally guests use it you know all the guests i have um i don't know what i'll do when i run out i could buy the reusable like felt ones my friend juniper knots she's got those and i always ask her where she got them from and i always forget and i still have not bought any so maybe i'll do that once i'm out of those um, and these are a bunch of paper plates that have found their way into my life, either through my van purchase or, um, my pizza purchase. So a lot of places right now with COVID, they will do it where if you take pe peppers and cheese, they have them pre-bagged with paper plates and napkins and all this stuff. So I'll use them, but I'm, I, I don't buy more. I don't replenish them. Um. And then, yeah. And then I have, apparently, because I think, like, you know, there's going to be five of us here, I do have five plates. 
And at this time, I'm going to keep all five. They don't take up a lot of space. I mean, what am I really saving at that rate if I take them out? So, for now, keeping all of them. Um, this came with my van. It's a three skillet set. I don't need that much pain. Like, I don't need that much skillets. Like, I don't see. Like, I don't even think, like the biggest one is gonna fit like that's a two burner stove but like i don't think it's gonna fit on that guy like it just mm. i might keep like the two small ones but definitely not the big one so i'll take care of that in a bit and i'll remove that um a dish rack like that's just taking up space in my life like this is this like no don't need Initially, I was like, oh, yeah, cool. But actually, like, I don't like dishes to pile up. Not only because it's, like, so visible in my life, but also I hate doing dishes. So I'm not going to wait till there's a ton of them where I actually, like, warrant the use of a dish rack. I will, like, typically, if I use the dish, if I rinse it, wash it, or just honestly, like, Clean enough is a rule for me because it's just me. So clean enough means, hey, I'll wipe it off with a bandana or a rag or whatever. And it's clean enough. So I don't need a dish rack. It's going away. Weird things. I have spare fuel. Um, a lot of it. Those I keep in here just because it's easier. Um, I, I end up procuring some of those from a friend, but... So I'm going to run those down and go through them. There's no reason to get rid of them because I'm going to use them. And then we have one-time use things for the most part. And I don't like them, but with backpacking, you end up with them for um, just, just in a lot of ways. You end up with these things and I try to deviate from them a lot of times. And I do for a lot of, like in a lot of ways, I do don't use them but they still show up in my life ziploc bags i have a love hate love hate with them so some of these are just from my life for the past year uh some are like these ones actually i just made a mess <laughs> these ones are actually like reusable bags um that my friend karen gave me and I know it looks like I'm not really using a lot of the ones she gave me, but actually there's quite a few like throughout other things that are being used for like ointments and medicines and stuff. There's like a little bag of those. There's a little bag like with my cosmetics that has stuff. So these are getting used and reused and, you know, properly reused. Um, so these are different. I'm justifying this because these are different. So like the rest don't matter because I also have these so yeah no joke like these are big um who knows what I would even use those for in my life nowadays but we'll see I know these little snacky guys those are great for backpacking I won't lie so those aren't going anywhere there's no I mean I can't donate them um goodwill would laugh and probably throw them away so I'm not gonna even like do anything like that they're just gonna go put back in the cabinet with the other things i'm keeping um and then we have this neat little dilly it is a measuring cup I doubt you'll be able to see but it's it's got measurements on it and it's got a little spout so when i got the van it did have standard measuring cups but um they just never stack well like that is just definitely one of those things that does not stack and does not easily allow other things to be put in the drawer with it so i had this actually in my truck with my truck kitchen stuff so this just transitioned over to van and when i do actually <laughs> 
put things in a pot and turn on the stove and warm them to temperature and then eat them this comes in handy the rest of the time it just sits in there so then once again i have like some things that just stick around for like because i love them or i mean like friends gave them to me they have meaning to them uh, i know i could cut back on some of that stuff but i'm just such a like emotionally like driven person that sometimes just seeing something a friend gave me brings like happiness and joy yeah so i like to keep those things around because sometimes you need a little like you know endorphin boost so my friend stacy gave me this one last year it's hard to read in the bright light but it says sometimes you forget you're awesome so this is your reminder so i got that that's the same that's my little wine cup I've had it for less than a year and I have no clue what happened to the lid. I had a cute little lid and a little straw so I didn't spill my wine. No clue. Um, and then I have these little color changing cups. Um, I got them from Arizona Trail Day. I have an obsession with the Arizona Trail if you haven't picked up on that. It's great. It's amazing. Google it. Um, 800 miles. So... These are from the 25th anniversary. They're color changing. I love them. They're adorable. They're cute. I have a couple. Um, they're not going anywhere. And then, you know, in case I need more cups, I have just two random 16 ounce tumblers. Obviously, I can throw parties here. Like, this place is massive. Like, couch can sit at least four people uncomfortably, so... Who knows? I mean, and then there's two seats up front. Like, we got this. So, those are all the dishes I had. Um, I mean, considering that, like, this pile of stuff is pretty much going to be eliminated um, from my van, that makes me feel so much better because, like I said, I don't have a ton of room in that cabinet. And as of right now, I don't think I'm going to, like sell or get rid of my ninja foodie i have you know big dreams to make french fries in the air fryer and maybe i'll try grilling a burger on the grill setting who knows either way that stuff's not leaving and now i have like way less stuff to like organize and put in there uh i thought originally i was gonna keep the dish rack because it helped me like stagger things like Oh, keep things in orderly fashion but in actuality it made things like such a mess to try and stack such a mess to try and like shift because you could you had to move like the whole item um so I'm excited to have that out of there the fuel cans are still annoying because they don't stack and stay stacked they fall over and so it's probably my biggest annoyance in that cabinet besides the ziplocs because they just want to jump out and fall out so I'm gonna go back and put all my mess away. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening, I guess. Thanks for following along. I don't even know if I'm gonna like edit this or just like leave it straight because editing sounds like so much work. And I just talked randomly for like 30 minutes to myself essentially. So I don't know if this girl is gonna be doing that for y'all. So if you watched everything, thank you. Um, and yeah, I'll try and keep everyone updated on my life and what I'll I do with the van. And hopefully once I get everything settled and everything the way I'm happy with, I'll give a full on tour. Just right now, it's so kind of crazy. Also, drying mat for my dishes. Thanks, Sana. I appreciate it. I kept all the towels. I love the towels. Um, just don't. And I mean, this print, yo, I don't know if I can do that. Bye.